that Stevie and Charles the Dickhead and everybody else dropped off at the creme. Um, they're so lovely there. Um, they're so kind to us. <laughs> we can you let them is buzzing it. Um, it's hard to know how to feel actually. I think I just put everything. I've gotten very good at just kind of putting. It's all just over there. I just keep everything. You know you do, you just protect yourself and it's just like that's over there, once they're in the freezer and I can just sort of, right, that's that dealt with for now and then I'll I'll deal with the emotion of it later. And I always feel it when I go to the creme, it's that moment of like the last time ever, you know what I mean? Like, it's the last time you'll ever see them that way, you know, it's that last. Um, but. There is isn't another option. I think it does make it a, whole, a lot easier when there isn't another option. You know, you, I've got to just get on with it. It becomes very practical, um, and they're they are lovely, um, but it is just that last moment of ever seeing somebody that way again. You know, um, but. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to know how to feel. I'm sure loads of folk, um, I mean, I know loads of folk have been in the, this exact same position where you take someone to the creme or you leave them at the vet to be taken to the creme and it's that, like, it's just that nothingness, you know, like, not nothingness, but, like, you'll never see them in that way that they are again. It's just, oh, oh, anyway. Oh, anyway, I'm not making very much sense in this. It's just hard to, it's hard to keep up sometimes. You know, it's just everything happens so quickly, and I've just got to kind of almost like the emotions playing catch up. Uh, but I've done my job as a mammy. They had everybody had they had good lives, um, and mostly good deaths. Uh, you know, sometimes things happen and it's not, death isn't always nice and it's kind of unpredictable and, you know, like with Stevie. Um, but it's always, I always try to make it as good as I can, um, whatever is thrown at, because you just never know what's coming next and how things are going to go. Or, and I think it's just that, almost like with grief, like grief hurts because you don't accept it almost and the pain is in the resistance of it but because I've not had a choice but to accept it it's either accept it completely and be completely okay with it or it's going to destroy me because there's so much um that it is make or break it's make make me or break me and it isn't your choice but to make me and in a way that's actually quite a relief it's almost like a burden's been lifted because I can't grieve in a way that's going to be destructive to me and to my wains I've got to grieve in a way that's going to make something good out of it and that's actually a really really nice thing um, it sort of almost even takes the pressure of grief off like I don't feel guilty about not grinding to a halt I feel good about not grinding to a halt, not um, giving up, not giving in, not letting it destroy me, not letting it hold me back, almost like I use it to push me forward now. So it's taken that pain and the the guilt sometimes and the sorrow and the longing and the just every anyone who's who's grieved for somebody knows exactly what I'm talking about like it fucking hurts it really fucking hurts um but with Stevie's there we's hobnobs and it was a good life he had a good life and I'm I'm proud of that you know I'm proud that I could give him that and I'm pleased I could give him that and I'm also pleased that that pain that I feel and guilt because I wish I had spent more time I always wish I'd spent more time that's something that no matter how long I do this I'll always wish that I had more time with all my wains um just on a day-to-day -day basis, basis not even in terms of like longer lives but just on a day-to-day -day practical basis like I can't be with everybody all the time and that'll always hurt that'll always I mean Kay like we spend as much time as we can because she's the wee minnow ginger dog and she does love her mama she does she does love her mama <laughs> 
Um, but I wish I could spend all day with her. I wish I could spend all day with Bruce. I wish I could spend all day with Stevie. And maybe not so much Charles the dickhead. I didn't really want to spend all day with him. Um, but I'll always wish that I could have spent more time just hanging out with him. And but it's not all about me. And as long as they are happy, I mean Stevie was so happy up on his heli. It was the best view in the entire place, and he was blind. That's just the way. It's just like I love it. Um, so. And I feel really uh, satisfied, I would say. It's very fulfilling to be able to give somebody a good life, to be able to accept their death, help make it easier, make it less distressing or painful or lonely or whatever it is that you can do for somebody. And then when their time in this way is gone, you go, right, who's next? who can have that life next and next are two top boys just like Stevie who otherwise had nowhere to go and now that his we've got that beautiful paddock up in the hill for two old men to live out their lives just like Stevie had and he have hobnobs for the first time and all of that and that actually feels really nice it's nice to be able to turn grief into something that actually feels nice um it's taken a long time. It really has. It's taken a long time to be able to get to be this okay with death. Um, but um, I'm not saying it doesn't hurt. It does. But I can see... It's almost like taking myself out of it and seeing it f for them. And grief is... And this isn't a criticism, I mean, I understand it, but grief is quite a selfish thing. Um, grief is like, I miss you. Um... And I do, I miss all my wains, like, I miss them. If I really let myself stop and think about it, like, I'd probably go, I'd probably go to shit, actually, if I really th stopped and thought about how much I miss everybody. But I don't, because I've got a lot of other wains. And as long as their lives were good, even if they were short, or a lot shorter than they should or could or would or whatever I've been, um, it was good. And good life, good death, and a good bye. Um, that's what I want for my wains. And it's not about how I, it's not about me missing them. It's about them having enjoyed it when they were here. And my, and I know now after having done this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, um, it's my pain, it's my grief that holds back them being able to come back and let their mammy know they're okay. So I feel relief. I feel relief that everyone's there. I'm doing the practical thing that I have to do because um, that is a big part of doing this. It's been incredibly practical and just dealing with, you know, a car full of dead bodies sometimes because I run a hospice and it'd be a bit funny if um, I was surprised by death and all the things that go along with it. So I feel... Like I can take a deep breath and just go, oh, okay, it's done. And now what I usually do is sometimes I'll go to the charity shop and buy dresses, but I'm actually not really in the mood to buy dresses. Um, call a doctor. Uh, so I'm going to go and we're going to go to Marks and Spencer's. And I used to like not eat when I was grieving. Um, but I again, I had to turn it around because that's going to make me sick and I need to stay healthy. I need to stay well. Um, because Wayne's need their mammy. Uh, so what I do now is in celebration in honour of all the Wayne's, I go and Kay and I have a wee car picnic and listen to podcasts and remember them and just be happy that this is my life and that was their life and that I knew them. So what do you reckon, Kate? Look at her looking at this cheesecake. She's like, Mama, there's cheesecake in there. Oh yeah, and we've got cheesecake. We're going to have some cheesecake. No, not all of it. <laughs> she says, oh, cheesecake. She loves the cheesecake. This way and keeps my heart safe, don't you, darling? No, but she didn't keep the cheesecake safe. <laughs> no. Oh, she's so naughty. I better go and rescue this cheesecake before somebody eats it all. Yes, you. I love you. Mwah.